hi everyone welcome back to my channel really quick guys i am moving as you guys know on my community post so i will be recording these videos and um, scheduling them for the next couple weeks my life is kind of chaotic right now and i cannot wait to get into my new home um, in the meantime though i am going to be moving out of state in the meantime to stay um, with my dad while my new house is getting ready and um so it's just been kind of crazy but thank you guys for your lovely positive vibes i ended up getting approved for the home that i really really wanted and it's just exciting also um you know a little sad because the house that i'm currently at i've been here for about eight years and i was thinking about this and if you guys don't want to hear about it you can skip ahead to the timestamps below but thinking about you know my own journey and my spiritual growth um, I've been through a lot of heartbreak I've been through a lot of ups and downs in this house a lot of memories a lot of different lessons hard lessons too in my life the last you know 10 years or so and the new place that I am moving into the unit or the address is going to be 555 and then the number 10 so I thought that was really synchronistic you know it's like I I've been through this challenging journey and then I'm getting you know to the end of it completion number 10 um, so that was very synchronistic I just wanted to share that with you guys and that alone just you know put a little bit of ease to all of the moving and anxiety that I'm feeling about leaving this house um, but I think it's time it's ready for me to move on to new and exciting energy so with that being said, you guys, I have reached over 2,000 subscribers. I did post the winner of my free tarot reading. It is on my community post. Go ahead and check it out. I also private messaged that person that um, won the free tarot reading. So um, go ahead and email me if you saw that. And thank you guys again for all of your lovely positive comments. And let's jump into the reading. So pile number one. I'm sorry, this is going to be messages from your person. So pile number one, the amethyst point or the ethereal visions tarot deck. Pile two is my um, turtle <laughs> or the light seers tarot deck. I love turtles, by the way. And pile three is the strawberry quartz or the mermaid tarot deck. And if you guys are interested in a personal reading, go ahead and follow my Etsy link below. I forgot to mention that I will be restricting some of the readings that I have um, in the next couple weeks just because I am going to be all over the place. Um, so if you guys want a reading, go ahead and check it out. And timestamps will be below, guys. And I will see you guys at your pal. Hello, pal one. If you chose the Amethyst Point or the Ethereal Visions Tarot deck, this is going to be your reading. Oops. So this is going to be messages from your person to you. Um, I was gearing it more towards romantic connections. So if you were looking for more of just a general friendship, platonic connection, this is probably not the reading for you today. So let's jump in pile number one. Let's see what your person wants to say to you right now. Okay, we have let your friends help you, ask for and accept support from others. We also have love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So right away for pile number one, I do feel like there is a strong energy that this person is trying to find the right words to say to you right now. I think the both of you guys are probably most likely in separation. And I think that whatever happened between the two of you guys has been some sort of painful ending because we have a card here that literally says support. So this person might be needing support from other people at this time. They might be asking advice from their friends, family members about the situation. And I feel like they are asking their closest friends, you know, what should I say to them? Um, how can I make things better? 
Um, what should I say if I call this person? Actually, you know what, I'm also getting that this could be a brand new, like a newer connection where this person is getting kind of cold feet about what to say to you. Like it's like, I feel like maybe this person has your number and they're kind of looking at it and they're just trying to figure out um, what do I say to this person like so I don't sound dumb or <laughs> make a fool of myself. So I'm getting both scenarios for you guys. Either you guys are separated, this person is turning to their friends for support about how to reach out to you or this is a newer connection and this person is um, not wanting to look dumb <laughs> and they're trying to figure out what to say to you. So let's go ahead. I think though there is a strong energy here that either situation, this person wants to tell you um, that they have feelings for you. And you know, I think this person, if you're in separation, would wanna tell you that they are missing you, they're thinking of you, you know, it literally says here, expressing love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Um, so this person would want to tell you that I think that they miss you a lot if you guys are separated and that they're thinking about you. If this is a newer connection, I still feel like this person wants to, I feel like they want to ask you out, honestly. I feel like they want to call you up and they want to ask you out. So that's kind of what I'm getting for um, that scenario. Yeah, see, look at that, Page of Cups. Literally a card of messages coming in. This is, you know, definitely this person wants to offer something. But we have the Five of Swords. What does that one person wanna say to the person that is watching Spirit? Yeah, I am seeing, <laughs> we have the Temperance, I'm sorry, and the Hanged Man. I actually wanna take this card Queen of Cups and this one and the Ace of Wands. We also have um, Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. So I'm seeing a lot of thinking for pile number one. If you look at this person, um, whatever the scenario is, I think they would want to tell you that they've been thinking about you a lot and it hasn't been easy. It's definitely been challenging. This person misses you or they're really trying to figure out what to say to you so that they don't sound stupid or make a fool of themselves. Um, I think they would also wanna tell you that they see you here as you're coming out as the Queen of Cups. So either male or female, it doesn't matter. These are energies. But the Queen of Cups is someone that embodies um, love and like pure love, joy, someone who's very stable, good at communicating. I think they would also want to tell you that they really like those qualities about you. For some reason, I'm also hearing that they would want to tell you that they are very physically attracted to you, that they think that you are handsome, beautiful, that you have features that are separate, not separate, that are different from any other person that they've ever met that's coming through really strongly here um, because of the ace of wands yeah I think that you are someone that is they have never met anyone like you with this card you know aces are about newer type of energy so I feel like this person would want to tell you that they've never met anyone like you there's no one else out there like you if you guys are separated and there is a lot of, I feel a lot of chemistry here. I think this person is very much attracted to you or still attracted to you. And they would wanna tell you that. Again, there is this um, heaviness, like this person is really thinking with the hanged man, the five swords of um, what to say to you at this moment. You know, I think they're very much in their head about this connection. Um, we also have temperance. So this is such a beautiful energy because it's literally about two people blending their energies, their emotions together. I think for this person, yeah, if you guys are in separation, I'm hearing that they are overwhelmed, you know, with um, thinking about you. They're overwhelmed with the thought of you two not coming together. I also feel like this person is really in their emotions again. They're in their mind about what to say, but in their heart, I think it's running pretty deep here with a lot of emotions. Um, if this is a newer connection, I still feel like this person would wanna tell you that they wanna move things forward with you as in asking you out, or they just, they wanna make some sort of offer here with the Page of Cups, you know? I feel like they wanna ask you out, to be honest. Um, that's kind of what I'm getting for 
that scenario here. So let's go ahead and it's a really sweet energy, pile number one, that I'm getting from this person. Um, whatever has happened, if you guys are in separation, they miss you dearly. They are not happy without you. So let's go ahead and get a couple more messages for pal one. What do they want to say to the person that's watching? Okay, we have crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. Yes, so for some of you, this person would tell you that they want to have children with you, that they want something new between the two of you guys, whether you are separated or this is a new energy where the two of you guys have not been together. But I am seeing um, creation. You know, they definitely want to create something with you. They want to start something with you with that card. Let's get a couple more messages. Paul wants person. What would they say? Okay. Um, hold on. That fell. I'm going to take this one. And it's always the card that falls. Okay. Yes, look at that, you guys. Vase, it's a secret admirer. Mm -hmm. So for those of you, this is a newer connection. This person would want to tell you they secretly adore you. They just have um, butterflies in their stomach when they think about you. Um, we also have older woman. Dealings a relationship with an older woman. So you or this person might be a little bit older then each other you don't have to be that is coming through here with this card but yeah i think in both scenarios though this person would want to tell you that they are still desiring you in that way you know they are still physically emotionally attracted to you and you know they definitely see you as someone that is worth the weight is what i'm hearing from spirit so pile number one that was your reading. I hope this resonates, you guys. Let me know in the comments below. Give it a like, share, subscribe. Help me get to my next goal, which is 3,000 subscribers. And if you are interested in a personal reading, make sure to check out the link below. I will be limiting the readings in the next couple weeks because of my move. So if you need a reading, check it out. And thank you guys for watching. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care, guys. Hello, pal two. If you chose the turtle, or the Light Sears Tarot deck, this is gonna be your reading. Isn't he so cute, you guys? My sister got it for me in Maui, and I love it. So cute, I love turtles, by the way. All right, so let's jump in. This is going to be geared more towards romantic connections. It, it's not really for platonic connections, so if that is not the case, and this is not the reading for you, but let's jump in, pal, to how does your, what does your person wanna to say to you right now? Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. We also have the golden mirror. Self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. That is interesting. I think I know a message that's coming through, but I want to get tarot cards for you guys. So, pile number two, spirit. What does their person want to say to the person that is watching? Let's Go ahead and cut the deck here. What does Pal 2's person want to say to the person that is watching? There it is. Three cards flew out. Did you guys see that? All right. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Three of Pentacles. And check this out, you guys. The Three of Swords. That is interesting. I feel like this is a third party. We have the Page of Cups. Yeah, this guy came out in the first reading as well. So definitely, this is the card um, of messages. So this person definitely wants to send a message towards you. Um, I feel like, clarify, hold on, clarify the love bombing card here for Pal 2. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Wands. Okay, I feel like this person would want to tell you that they effed up. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't like to swear <laughs> on the channel, but I just heard that from spirit. With this card, it literally says self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. And the Knight of Wands can be kind of um, 
player type of energy. So I feel like this person would want to tell you um, that they know that they effed up <laughs> and they want another chance with you. Oh, there, there it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> they want another chance with you with the Wheel of Fortune and give your relationship a chance. So that is the very strong message that I'm getting from Spirit, the channeled messages. Um, I definitely feel like this could have been a third party situation where this person was maybe playing around or wasn't really settling down, wasn't really giving you an answer, maybe just kind of, um, you know, playing the field here and there. And maybe I feel like when you guys found out, they realized like, oh crap, you know, I actually want to be with this person. Like this is the person that I want to be with. I think with the Queen of Wands, they are definitely very energetically, physically attracted to you. I think they also are seeing you. I think they would want to tell you that they still see you as someone that they are very attracted to. I also feel like they might be hiding with the Three of Swords the fact that they are bothered by what has happened between the two of you guys. I think this person is, um, yeah, I, I, some of you, this is someone that you work with as well with the Three of Pentacles. But I feel like this person is hiding the fact that they know that they messed up. I feel like they would want to tell you that they are sorry. I also feel like they are, for some reason, I'm getting jealousy. Someone is jealous here. I think they are kind of jealous. I don't know if some of you guys have been maybe purposely trying to flirt with other people, especially if you work together. Um, I think they would say that they, they see it. They know it's there. They know that you are free to do whatever you want, but it's breaking their heart is what I'm getting from spirit. That was very specific. So if it's that doesn't resonate, don't take it. For those of you that it does resonate with, that is what I'm hearing. There is some jealousy here. I think that they would tell you that. Yeah, see, we have another page of pentacles. We have the nine of cups. Yeah, I'm going to take this. Wow. Ten of Cups and then the Lovers, hold on, and getting a message. The Six of Wands coming out, King of Cups. Yeah, this person definitely wants to communicate with you that they um, they want to win you back here with the Lovers card. Um, I think there's definitely an energy of them knowing that they made the wrong decisions and I think, again, when maybe you found out, they realized your worth and your value here with the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Lover's card. This person maybe wasn't ready to make a decision before, and I think that they would want to tell you that they choose you now. That's what I'm getting. Wow, Spirit, I'm getting like a really clear message for this pile. Um, I mean, normally I do, but this is like channeling really quickly. Um, through my mind and so I I just feel like you know this is either going to resonate with you or it's not because it's so specific so let's go ahead and get a couple more cards for pal two spirit what would their person say to the person that is watching what would pal two's person say yes look at that wind chimes peace and harmony this person definitely wants to build bridges with you. They don't want you guys to be separated. I think they would also say that they want to make peace with you. Did I say that? No, I said bridges. I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> they want to make peace with you and they want things to be harmonious with the two of you. I don't feel like this person wants you guys to be in, um, you know, I don't think that they want you thinking of them that like they are a bad person. Um, even though I do feel like they weren't making a decision, I, I definitely think that, um, when you walked away, it's like they realized what they wanted, you know, that type of energy here. So let's go ahead and get one more card, pal, to spirit. How does, what does their person want to say? I keep saying, how do they feel? And I don't know why. Um, let's just get this one. We have the cup. You should accept valid criticism. Yeah, I think this person would also tell you that they know that if they were to come back and communicate with you, they expect you to kind of um, be harsh 
like have harsh words towards them and I think that they would tell you that that's okay that they are expecting it they are expecting you to be angry or to be um, kind of snarky with them because of how they kind of treated you but overall pal number two I feel like this person definitely the the main message here is that they want to give this relationship another chance and they want to do everything that they can with the six of wands to win you back so pile number two that was your reading i hope this resonates you guys let me know in the comments below give it a like share subscribe help me get to my next goal which is 3,000 subscribers guys and if you are interested in an etsy in an etsy <laughs> oh my gosh you guys I've been packing like so much, I can't even talk. If you are interested in a personal reading, follow my Etsy link below. I will be limiting my readings the next couple weeks because I am moving. So if you need a reading, please go ahead and click on the link below. And as always guys, I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello pal three. If you chose the strawberry quartz or the mermaid tarot deck, this is gonna be your reading. All right, so this is going to be geared towards romantic connections, you guys, and let's jump right in. So the person that you are thinking of, what do they want to say to you right now? Wow, you guys, look at that. We have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. <laughs> I can't read sideways. Um, not enough, frustrated in relationship lack of confidence self-sabotage fear ego issues jealousy that is interesting we have two opposing energies so i want to get tarot on this for pal three spirit i feel like i am getting a message that this person would want to tell you that they're letting their fear of feeling like they are not good enough for you um, they're letting that get the best of how they really feel about you, which is wanting to have something pretty stable with you. I feel like this person, for some reason, I'm hearing that they might be damaged. That sounds really harsh, but hold on. I feel like they just have some past trauma that hasn't healed yet. And there's a part of them that doesn't feel confident enough, um, even though you see them as like a prize. There's something here about this person feeling inadequate um, when it comes to you and loving you. So let's get some tarot. Pal three spirit, how does this person, I'm sorry, not how does this person feel? I keep saying that. What does this person want to say to pal three? I will do that reading next since I keep saying that. What does pal three's person? That's one. What do they want to say to the person that's watching? Let's get one more. Okay, or two more, sure. We have the Magician. We also have the Six of Swords. Yeah. Um, the Empress and the Seven of Cups. So right away, you guys, the Empress card, I mean, they, with this card and the engagement, there is nothing wrong with you. So if you guys were maybe thinking like it's you, you know, maybe there's something about you that is just not worthy. Um, it's not you at all. I feel like you are definitely a gem. I think that they would tell you that you are so worthy. It's just they are feeling so inadequate. I don't know if it's money or something from their trauma as a child is kind of what I'm getting here. But with the Empress card, you know, that's about fertility. It's about abundance. So I feel like this person would want to tell you that they would actually want to marry you. They would want to have you to have their chi children um, is what I'm getting really strongly here. I want to clarify the Seven of Cups here, Spirit. Why is this here for Pal 3? Thank you. Yeah, we have the Page of Wands. Again, I feel like this person would want to tell you that there's just so many things that they're hiding with the Seven of Cups about how they see themselves. I don't think it has anything to do with you. I feel like you are perfect in their eyes. 
But with the Magician and the Six of Swords, the message that I was hearing when I saw these cards was that they wish that they could change um, the circumstances of how they feel about themselves. It's like they want to move away from whatever is making them feel. Um, it's like an illusion, you know, what, what they're feeling is an illusion. It's not really how they feel about you, if that makes sense. And with the Six of Swords, I, I definitely feel like there is this message that they would want to tell you that they're working on changing this. Um, they're, they wish that it would happen quicker than it is, but right now there's just a lot of things that they are trying to figure out with the Seven of Cups, you know, and the Page of Wands. I think they would also want to tell you that they wish that they could give you more than what they are giving you now is what I'm hearing from spirit. Um, yeah, see nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. They see you as, you know, someone who is definitely very worthy and someone who is um, worth it for them. You know, you're like a diamond in the rough for them. You are definitely different from all the other people that they've ever met. So I kind of want to uh, clarify why does this person not feel good enough spirit for pal three what's blocking this person this kind of shove came out we have the knight of pentacles and the queen of wands four of cups yeah see here it is and then we have the emperor so we have the emperor and the empress coming out um so definitely they see you as you know someone equal to them but with these cards, it could also be about money. Like this person is lacking a little bit of confidence when it comes to money. And if you see with this four of cups, you see this woman holding this cup and they're literally like begging or just like, not begging, but just like wanting this person to turn around and notice them. And I feel like maybe that's you. Um, and I do feel like this person again sees you with the queen of wands. I think that they're highly attracted to you. But they are so focused on whatever it is that is making them feel inadequate. It could also be about money is what I'm getting here. Maybe you make more than this person and it makes them feel um, like they can't provide for you with the Nine of Pentacles. Um, I also feel like, yeah, this person for some reason also feels like, I don't know, like some of them don't feel like they look good enough for you. I don't know why that's coming through, but the Queen of Wands is a card of attraction. And we have the Four of Cups. So for some reason, I'm hearing that this person maybe feels like, you know, look how sad this guy <laughs> looks. Like, he's not really shaven. Like, you know, he still looks like a pretty decent guy. I mean, I think he looks handsome. <laughs> um, but, you know, I, I just feel like there's a message here that this person feels they're really down about maybe them not looking a certain way of how they really want to look how they they kind of think that maybe you want them to look is kind of what i'm getting here again some past trauma issues that this person is dealing with that's interfering with how they um what they want to say and how they feel about you so um let's go ahead and get some more messages what does pal three's person want to say to the person that's watching yeah look at that see unicorn your intuition, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Again, diamond in the rough, you guys are, I think that they would tell you, right? I think they would also tell you they're trying to make changes in their life, that they want you to be patient, but they know that you can't wait for them forever, but they are dealing with stuff. I do feel that way with the turkey. It says someone is behaving stupidly. I think they would also tell you that they know that they are making a foolish mistake right now, but they are literally struggling, pile number three. I feel like this person is trapped in their own thoughts and their own trauma issues is kind of like what I'm hearing from spirit. Yeah, see, bottom of the deck. Yeah, look at that. Aww. This person's sad, you guys. We have teardrops, great personal sorrow. I mean, look at these two cards. There is definitely sadness here. For some of you, this person might be drinking um, their sadness away. Um, and we have camel, persevere and you will overcome problems. I think this person would also tell you that they are trying to overcome 
these challenges, this negative thinking. Some of them might be going to therapy or counseling to help them through this because I feel like they definitely want to have this engagement, this union with you. So pile number three, that was your reading. I hope this resonates, you guys. Let me know in the comments below. Give it a like, share, subscribe. Help me get to my next goal, which is 3,000 subscribers. And if you would like a personal reading, follow the Etsy link below. I will be limiting them really soon since I am moving. So if you guys need a reading, go ahead and check that out below. And I'm sending you guys lots of love, guys. Take care.